This is part of a coordinated uh, set of actions that are happening across the United States, from uh, Portland, Oregon to Portland, Maine. Uh, there are, uh, the National Lawyers Guild has organized uh, demonstrations uh, in, in Tucson and Chicago and Oklahoma City and New York City and uh, across the United States. Um, so uh, we're very glad to be able to do something here in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, I'm not going to say a whole lot. We have a number of uh, speakers today, um, including uh, representatives of some uh, organizations uh, here in Providence that have been fighting for human rights and social justice and to protect this small planet that we share with uh, so many other uh, uh, living beings. So um, in a few moments, uh, Attorney Amy Tabor from the uh, National Lawyers Guild uh, will speak. Um, we also have a, uh, uh, an artist and professor of the Island School of Design um, who's going to speak. Also uh, Raul Figueroa, who's an organizer with uh, Fuerza Laboral, uh, Power of Workers in Central Falls. Um, there's a representative from the uh, Onlyville Neighborhood Association, a representative from the Providence Student Union, um, I believe someone's here from the Rhode Island uh, American Civil Liberties Union, uh, and a representative from uh, uh, Direct Action for Rights and Equality, there uh, in South Providence. Um, Michael Ruggio from uh, Jobs with Justice in uh, Rhode Island is here. Um, and uh, Sherry Andre from uh, FANG, which is an environmentalist group uh, here in Rhode Island. Um, Martha Yeager from the American Friends Service Committee, and uh, Ed Benson from the George Wiley Center in Pawtucket. So uh, we have a number of people who are, uh, are going to be saying a couple of words. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, I'm going to turn it over to, to Amy Tabor.